we're going to introduce functions in Python. The first exercise we're going to work on is to create a function called sum that takes uh, two numbers and returns the sum of them. Okay, so let's go to our IPython notebook and work through this. I'm using Python 3. Um, let's go ahead and first of all, uh, just go ahead and create our function. And to do that, we're going to do uh, DEF. We're defining a new function and we'll call this one sum and we'll add together x and y those are going to become input arguments so we put inside these parentheses all the things that are coming into our function okay we go ahead and put the colon there and then we define our function and so i'm going to create a new variable z which is going to be x plus y and then as a final step i want to return a z Okay, and so when I define this, um, that becomes a new function, and when I insert a cell below, now I can use this function. So let's say I want to print the sum of 2 and 1. Okay, and that gives me 3. So it went back when it saw this reference, okay, to this sum function. It's going to come back and then plug in the value of 2 here and the value of 1 right there. It'll add them up. And then it'll return that function. Uh, you know, from that function, it'll return the value of z. But let's say I have more than one input. Let's say I have multiple things that I want to sum up. Okay, and then um, so then I'd create a for loop for i. Um, let's say let's do for i in x. Okay, so for all of my different x's. Okay, I'm going to add those up. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to say z equals z plus i, and then initialize the value of z to be zero. So let's say I have more than just one input. I'll say x is going to be one, two, three, four, and ten. Okay, and then uh, let me go ahead and just have uh, sum up all of my x's. Okay, and then when I redefine this, I've got to rerun this one first. So go back here and hit Control Enter, and then come down here and hit Control Enter, and then you'll see 20. So I added up all of these individual elements here, and that equaled 20. So it came into the function, it put x up here. Okay, so that was a, a list of numbers. And then I just started off with z equals 0. And then for every element of x, okay, so for i in x, then I just said that z equals z plus i, and then I returned that z. Okay, so that's adding multiple numbers together. Okay, so let's come in here and insert a cell below. Let's go back to our problem statement and just see the next part. We want to write a function called quad. Okay, so we're going to take the a, b, and c as a function of arguments that are the coefficients of the quadratic formula. Okay, so we want to come up with the two solutions to this and returns the two roots. So we're going to be retur returning more than one thing now. And then we want to test our function with uh, these values right here. Uh, somehow that's okay. So uh, there it is, those values right there. We should get the roots of 2 and negative 1. OK, so let's come back into um, back into here. OK, so we're going to define a, a new function. And this one is going to be, uh, we'll just define this quad. And then we have three inputs, a, b, and c. And uh, then we're going to have root 1, which is going to be negative b plus, okay, and then this is going to be b squared. We do the double uh, asterisk sign, b squared minus 4 times a times c, okay, and then that's going to be the square root, okay, so then we can do the double asterisk, 1 half, okay, and then we'll divide by uh, 2 times a. All right, now whenever you divide uh, by an integer number in Python 2, you got to watch out for uh, it might turn, return an integer answer as well. In Python 3, uh, 3 plus, that isn't a problem. 
Okay, so I'm going to have the plus and then the minus root here. I'm just going to copy this one. Okay, so here's my minus root. Okay, there we go. Now we have two things that we want want to return instead of just one as we had before. Uh, and so what we do is we just return root one comma root uh, two. Just separate them by commas and then that will um, return two things for us. Okay, so insert the cell below. Okay, and then we wanted to test out a couple of values. Let's go back here. A is 1, B is negative 1, and C is negative 2. Okay, and so we just want to print uh, quad 1, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, and then we got, uh, let's see, what did I do? Um, hmm. Okay, so I did something wrong here. If I got the, I got the wrong answer there. Let me go back to my problem statement c is negative two okay uh, one negative one and negative two all right i'm going to come back here okay i'm not seeing the thing that i did wrong here um, Hmm. I'm going to pause this and then come right back to it. Okay, so it was just the uh, parentheses here. Uh, quadratic formula, of course. Um, so if we come back here, and then um, what I need to do is just take this whole thing right here, put some parentheses around it, because I don't want to just divide uh, the one part of that by the two-way, but I want to divide everything in the numerator. Okay, and I redefine that one. Then it isn't going to change this answer, so I need to come down here and do Control Enter, and then I get uh, the right answer. Okay, so just watch the uh, parentheses as you see here. It'll kind of highlight the matching parentheses. Okay, you can see that when you select one, it'll turn the other one green as well, so you can check it. Okay, so let me go ahead and insert uh, one more cell below. Okay, so let's uh, work on this final one. Uh, so now we want to convert some units. Um, we want to write a function that converts, uh, for example, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, so if I come in, um, come back here, okay, and then we have define, and then we're going to do Celsius to uh, Fahrenheit, and we'll have an input uh, temperature. And then we'll return a Fahrenheit, which is going to be the temperature times uh, times 9 divided by 5. Don't forget to put the 5.0 if you're going to be in, uh, um, in the Python 2. Um, and then return, and then we'll return Fahrenheit, for example. Okay, and then if we insert a cell below, and then we can say, let's print um, C to F if I'm, let's say, at 32 uh, degrees. Okay, and there I have uh, Celsius uh, to Fahrenheit. Okay, but let's say I had zero degrees, that should be 32 Fahrenheit. Okay, there it is. So we've got, um, and let me just do uh, 100 is going to be 212. And so on. Okay, so you get the um, you get the picture here in terms of how to define a function. Again, it's just define the function def, um, and then you give it a function name, and then inside this opening parentheses you put your input arguments. In this case, I only had one, but you can have, for example, in this case we had three input arguments. You then start it with a colon. Don't forget that one. And then you need to indent it. Okay, so anything that's indented is going to be part of this function right here. Uh, we do some calculations, and the very last thing we need to do is return um, is return the output. Now you can put the parentheses around it, or in this case, we just um, you know separate them with commas, and um, and that's what we return two things. Okay, now if you just wanted to, uh, for example, just get the uh, second root, for example, then you would just do print 
and then quad one, negative one, negative two, and then you put zero after it in square brackets. You just get the uh, just the first one in that case. If you want to get the second one, you do one. Okay, so um, we reviewed uh, functions. We just created a simple one that just added numbers together. We did another one that solved the quadratic uh, formula, and then another one that uh, would convert units for us. And in each case, we had one or multiple inputs or outputs.